the vinegar. I actually have the caviar sticks from Lauren C. Lauren it is a very finely milled powder, but oh shit, I just it just went everywhere. Yeah. And I hope to see you guys right here. I hope to see you guys right back here. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am actually going to do something that I've never done on my channel before, but I seen Samantha Marsh upload a video similar to this and I thought it would be fun to kind of go through my stash and find those products that were really not worth my money and share that with you guys so that you guys know that I really have not felt like I've gotten the best value out of these products. She also did a video where she did the products that were worth her money. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Now I know that today is Wednesday and I was supposed to be uploading the buy or browse video, but my daughter has a thing today and I thought that I had an extra hour and I don't. So I was only able to film half of it and I don't feel like I can do a good enough job on such a time crunch. So I'm not gonna be able to finish filming that video until tomorrow. So I think I might just film the entire video tomorrow. So bear with me. So Thursday will be my uh, every other week buy or browse series video, but I just didn't want to rush through it and I didn't want to like half-ass it, you know what I mean? I'm not into half-assing my videos. That's something that I do not like to do and I just, my time just kind of got crunched in and I just wasn't able to film that today. So we're going to go ahead and get started with what we're going to be talking about today. So these are products that I have bought that were pretty spendy, but I don't feel like I've gotten my money's worth. Whether it didn't work for me, whether it wasn't the right shade, or it's something that I just don't pull very much. You know, there's a lot of these products that I've bought and they're really good, but I just don't reach for them that much. And in my opinion, that's pretty much wasting your money. If, if you spend quite a bit of money on a product that you actually don't reach for, it's really not worth it at the end of the day. So first things first, let's talk about this foundation from Hourglass. This is the Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. I have this in the shade beige. I don't mind this. My my issue with this foundation is it's super thick and super moussey and it's kind of hard to blend out and it, it kind of gets thick in certain areas. Don't get me wrong, it's very hydrating, but it's definitely not my favorite hydrating foundation. And if I am if I need that hydration, I will just grab my Lancome Skin Feels Good, which is what I'm wearing right now. And I would prefer to grab that one over this one any day. It's just really moussey. As you can tell, like it's just a really moussey type textured foundation. And I don't like having to blend that in. And it just, I don't reach for it all that much. So it was kind of a waste of money. It was. I, uh, not my favorite. It's a good foundation, but I have others in my collection that I feel like work better than that one and cheaper. So there you go. The next one is this from Hourglass. This is the Vanish Stick Bronze Flash Highlighter. This is the stick highlighter from Hourglass. And this is the shade. It's bronze. And I don't like the shade of this and it was a complete waste of my money. I like the texture of this, but I do not like the shade. It just doesn't look the best on my skin. It's kind of dark and there's really nowhere for me to put this bronzy shade on my face. So I never reach for it. It's not that it's a bad product. It's just just, I just don't reach for it. It is what it is. So the next thing I have here is this from Becca. This is the Soft Light Blurring Powder, and this is in the shade Pink Haze. Now, I don't remember why I bought this. It was probably an influencer. Somebody on YouTube said, oh my gosh, you have to have this in your collection. So I went ahead and bought it, and I don't like it. It is a very finely milled powder, but it's pink, and I'm still trying to understand the reason why it's pink and yeah, it gives kind of a blurring effect But it kind of gets cakey and I can't I can't get rid of that pink tone No matter what I do it stays pink whether I put it under my eyes whether I put it on my face It stays that pinky weird. I don't know it mm, I don't know I'm still trying to understand this product and if you guys have any suggestions on how to use this like if you have it and you like it and you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below because I've really never been able to make this work and I've tried it a few different times and I finally just gave up. It was just, it was just not gonna work. The next thing is this palette from Pat McGrath and this is the Bronze Temptation Eyeshadow Palette. Now I'm actually sending this to my friend because I really think she's gonna get um, a lot of use out of this. 
but this is what the palette looks like and I bought it and I I like the palette don't get me wrong I like the pigmentation I like the shades in here I just don't reach for it in fact I've, I've only used it that one time the, the day that I reviewed it that's the only time I've ever used it so I'm gonna pass it along to somebody else who can you know get better use out of it I think it's a beautiful palette but for me and what I look for when I grab palettes this is just not it. For whatever reason, I just don't pick it up very often. So I'm going to pass it along to somebody that will pick it up and play with it and love on it. The next thing is this Bar of Gold highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. Now, you guys have recently heard me talk about this. I think it was in my um, following along my favorite YouTubers makeup tutorial. I used this in that video. I like this highlighter, but it is so not worth the money. Like, it is so not worth the money. There are so many other beautiful highlighters out in the market. Like they have more pigmentation and they look better on the skin than this one does. Like this one's just not my favorite. And it was just expensive. Plus it stinks to high heaven. Like I do not like the smell of this. Every time I open it, it stinks like old library books to me. That, that's what I smell is Ugh, old library books. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. It reminds me of fifth grade, and that was not a fun grade, okay? So the next item is these lashes from Lily Lashes. I have tried so many different Lily Lashes, and they're just too big for me. The only time I was ever able to make a pair of Lily Lashes work for me was the ones that are, what are they called? The premium they were, she only released them for a short time. Like it was like they were out and then as soon as they were gone, they were gone. It was like to celebrate her anniversary or something for the brand. Um, they were so pretty. They were $11.99 and I bought a ton of them. They were like all different cities. They had Boston, LA, Atlanta, all that. It was so, I loved them so much. In fact, I think I'm wearing LA on my eyes. I think it's either LA or Boston. But Lily lashes are way too heavy for me. Like when I put them on, I feel like I have caterpillars sitting on my eyes. <laughs> it's never a good look. Like I don't like that much lash and they're just too heavy and too much. I've got like four pairs of Lily lashes and other than the premium ones, like the premium synthetic ones, the other ones are just way too much. Okay, the next thing is this from Natasha Denona. This is her crystal top coats. So I picked this up and I hate this so much, you guys. And these are so stupid expensive, but I do not like this. Like I cannot get pigmentation to save my life. I'm like, where is it? Like it gets hard panned and you have to kind of dig in it and then put it on. It's not my favorite. I totally wasted my money on this, you guys. I do not recommend these. I don't know. I know so many people love these, but for me, it was just a hot mess and it didn't work. And there's that. The other one that I want to talk about is this little kit that I bought from Cover FX. It has these little glitter drops. It was a set of four of them and I never used these. Like, I think this set was like 50 bucks and I never use these. They're just not something that I reach for that often. They're just not my favorite product. And I don't really like the way that they look on the skin. And I know so many people love these glitter drops from Cover FX, but I don't like them. They're not my favorite. So I kind of wasted my money on them, but moving right along. The next thing is this from Dose of Colors and I Love Sari collaboration. This is her bronzer in the shade Soulmate. And I really wanted this to work and maybe I'll be able to make, I mean, look at that highlighter. Oh, buddy. Um, I really wanted to make this highlighter work. It's just never really matched my skin tone very good. And I've really, really tried to play with it and try to just softly put it on. It's got such beautiful pigmentation, but it's kind of chunky, you guys. It's kind of chunky. It's a chunky highlighter. And I don't really like chunky highlighters, so I totally wasted my money on it. <laughs> anyway, okay, moving on to this palette from Jeffree Star. This is the Blood Sugar Palette, and it's like a case, and I can't get it out of the packaging. Um, I think this was like over 50 bucks, I think, wasn't it? Like 52 or something like that. And I've only used this palette the one time to review it, and that was it. I've never picked it up since. I just don't, I just don't pick up these shades very often. I bought it to review it, and if I wasn't, if I didn't have my channel, I don't know that I ever would have bought this. I have so many of my friends that create the prettiest looks with this palette. Pigmentation in this palette is out of control crazy. I mean, seriously. 
love or hate him, he makes amazing products. Like his his makeup is it, it is amazing. And it has really good pigmentation. It's just I don't I don't pull for it ever. Like I don't ever grab these shades. So I kind of wasted my money on it because by the time I use it, it'll be technically expired. I mean, it's it expires 12 months after you buy it. So don't get me wrong. I mean, I use makeup for several years, but just saying. Not my favorite palette. I just don't reach for it very often. The next thing I want to talk about is these little things from Trustique. I don't even know how to pronounce it, so you guys can totally call me on the carpet when I pronounce it wrong and I botch the name. You have a blush, um, you have eyeshadows, you have a highlighter, all of that stuff, and I have tried these. I have tried to make these work, you guys. They do not work for me, and I am going to continue trying to make them work. If you guys, I could pull out all the ones that I have, but I, I'm not going to, but I probably have maybe five more of these. I just grabbed the ones that I could see, and I bought like a kit of them, and I've, I've tried so hard. I mean, they've got pretty good pigmentation. Like, this is the one for blush, and it's got good pigmentation, but it's got kind of like a powdery, like oily, like it's just really hard for me to use these, and... I don't know, like I have the ones for the eyes, you know, like to do an eyeshadow look with. This one right here is really, really pretty. And as you start to blend it out, it's like you really lose the pigmentation. You have to keep going back in and going back in and going back in. I have the caviar sticks from Laura Mercier and I actually really like those, but these I've really struggled with. So I'm gonna continue to try to work with them and see if I can make them work. But so far, I've kind of wasted my money because I've had these for probably a year now and I've probably tried to use them maybe six or eight times and every time was a complete flop. Like, didn't work, total shit show, and there you go. The next thing I want to talk about, you're not going to be surprised, is these, I don't know where they're all at, but the Pat McGrath lip glosses, those little mini trios, it was a total waste of money, you guys. I like these, but I don't use them all the time. I bought two full-size glosses, and I have no idea where they're at, but I think I spent like 60 bucks on both of them, and they're not good. Like, I don't understand the hype on those lip glosses. One of these days, I will find them, and I will prove to you that I have them, but so far, I've not been able to track them down. I kind of have a feeling my daughter took them, but we're just saying. But these little mini ones, you know, I just don't feel like they're, I don't know. I bought them to review them, and I just, I feel like they're a complete waste of money. I do think that they're pretty pigmented, but I don't know. They're just not my favorite gloss. I just, I'm not, I don't know. I just think they're overrated. They're overpriced and overrated. And I think it's just because it's a Pat McGrath product that everybody's like automatically assuming that it's gonna be like the best gloss on the planet. And that's kind of what I thought when I seen them. But that's just not the case. So that's it for this video. I'm gonna start doing this type of video on a regular basis. Next video you will see that similar to this is maybe doing something like this for the products that I definitely got my money worth. So I wanna thank Samantha March for coming coming up with this idea. I don't know if she came up with the idea or she got it from somebody else, but that's whose video I watched and was, you know, inspired to make my own. I'm going to start doing these type of videos and I think it'll be fun, but don't forget to come right back here tomorrow because I will definitely have my buy or browse. <laughs> Be, you know, mom life. It is real. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love that you guys show me in this channel. It truly means the world to me. I hope to see you guys right back here tomorrow at 11 a.m. Mountain Center time. And I love you all so much. Bye.